passionate I work hard so when it pop it ain't on accident Yeah I'm always on go better watch your How does welcome back to the channel I hope it's not too bright I actually put the exposure down like to one so but this sun right here is tripping but anyways um I'm bringing you a weekly ASOP haul this was actually supposed to be for last week I want to say but because of the holiday and stuff it didn't happen but you guys know I got y'all with the ASOP ASOP has actually become definitely in my top five I think my friends was asking me the other day and I was like ASOP definitely y'all see I work with them on a regular basis like I legit love the items that I have and I wear them you know all the time I would say all the time but I wear them a lot <laughs> Um, I do have a coupon code, which is D-White25, and that will get you 25% off of your order. ASOF does have sales a lot of the time. Shipping is really good. Let's just go ahead and get into this haul. I didn't theme it this week. Uh, I just saw a lot of great new arrivals, and I was like, oh, yes. Like I just was like snatching everything. Like I want that, that, and that. I didn't think this would fit, but this is like so comfortable. It's so stretchy. Um, it's more flatter than flattering <laughs> flattering than I thought it would be um it just looks really good and underneath I don't have on anything that is flattering you know I like my granny panties and stuff but I didn't do that today so I was like huh, I don't know how this gonna look how my stomach gonna look in it but I really do like this and it's really comfortable and sometimes I am skeptical about materials like this um but it's just a spandex like almost like a workout sports bra type of material to be honest um i like the rouge in here some people call it rouging i call it rouging doesn't really matter tomato tomato whatever um so this is how it looks from the side okay and then this is the back of it i want to say amara had this on on the website i love her but yeah this is the back and that's pretty much this outfit here i love I love the color. I hate that when I turn around and I'm talking and I turn back around, it has to readjust so I can't kind of go right into it. But I do like this color and I'm actually going to keep this set. I don't know where I'm wearing it to, but I really do like it. So that's this first set here. So now we have like this burnt orange type of rusty color or rust color. This is more burnt orange in my opinion. It got so bright so quick. Anywho, I love the way this shows up. It's a little brighter on camera, but in person it is like more warm so um yeah this is a really thin set it has these ties here which the model had it like tied up here i want to say y'all know i'll be tripping with these belts and extra material flaps and stuff but um i don't know how i feel about that but let's just go ahead and get into the pants um the pants are really really long on me um and typically if it's a really lightweight material that when you cut it and stretch it out you won't see the cut lines anymore then I'll just cut a little bit off of the bottom um, and just stretch it out to the point where it's like uh, when I used to do my legging crop tops just stretch it out and it, you'll never see you know the cuts and stuff like that so um, yeah that's what I definitely would do here just because I feel like um, they are too long on the bottom I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to pick it up but I do like the style of this. When I first saw it, I was like, mm, I don't really know about that. The little ruffles and indentions and stuff. But it turned out to be kind of pretty. I would definitely throw on a pair of leggings underneath to smooth me out. But other than that, I do like this set. Again, I just don't know what to do with the tie up here. Um, kind of wish it like tied in the middle and kind of cupped your boobs a little bit. That would have been really cute. So then back here, it doesn't go up as high. But yeah, that's this. And like I said, it is really thin, uh, really lightweight, and it may be sheer. But yeah, I have on a new undergarment set, so I'm not sure if you're going to see the sheerness of it. But um, yeah, that's the set here. All right, so I have two bottoms here that did not work. So both of them, it just was too tight in the waist to actually get around like this part right here, the hips. So um, I absolutely love these. And I was like, yo, these actually might fit. Uh, like I said, I'm skeptical about bottoms. Um, in certain materials um, I love the fringe on the outskirts of these outskirts <laughs> on the um, outside of these I thought this was so pretty um, the actual pants itself has a nice amount of stretch but inside the waistband there's absolutely no stretch it's not going anywhere so um, yeah these definitely didn't work so that's that pair then I have this skirt 
which again i feel like the same issue i feel like it was enough material in the actual skirt but once you get to the waistband there is no stretch and then once i did unzip it in the back it also felt like um even when you unzipped it completely there was still not enough stretch and i was scared like i ain't trying to break this zipper open just to get into no skirt but this is really pretty and i've seen it they had like a mustard yellow color then it had this black color um it's just like a fringy leather skirt uh midi length it's really really cute so then we have go away <laughs> so then we have this dress here which is like a midi length i think this is supposed to be off the shoulder um it's a lot of material up in here so i didn't really know i just have it slightly off the shoulder um half cheetah or leopard and half black i saw this this is a real trend right now i've seen it on instagram twitter etc so yeah that's just this dress here it is a nice thick material i definitely feel like it's not going to be um see-through or anything like that and i do just like how i don't know it's split down the middle it's like half classy but that's not to say cheetah isn't classy or leopard so i would say half professional half spunky right so then um who uses spunky how old am i <laughs> this is the back here again i love the length that it comes to i think of course being cliche but yeah being cliche i would definitely do red lip red shoe um and if you're feeling real bold a red fur i think that'll be bomb but yeah that's this here um or just a little pop like with a red purse or something and a black shoe that would be cute too that's this dress here okay so i love this you guys know my infatuation with maroon wine and burgundy i love the whole burgundy family i love the red family to be honest so yeah now we have this like fuzzy type of dress here and at first um when i took it out i was like oh my gosh is it broke but what the thing about it the fur up here is not sewn down throughout the whole entire top i'm not sure if that's uh if there's a reason why they did that or if this is just the design um but um i love this it is kind of short so i don't know um how i would wear it you guys and everybody be picking on me but i love my dusters so i would definitely if i want to class it up do a little duster and like my burgundy either over the knee boot burgundy heel um something really cute and really simple because i feel like the dress kind of speaks for itself but like i said it is a little short i could or would and could throw on a little uh slip underneath um from spanx or something and then this is what you have at the side and this is the back so you guys now have that little demarcation which i talk about all the time um and if it the dress doesn't come there i'm skeptical about it this one is just hitting it but not quite so yeah i'm not sure about it and then it does have like these dainty um straps up here and it comes really low but other than that it is kind of cute and i do really s with this dress but in the straps they aren't uh adjustable and i'm over here looking at my camera well my phone but yeah that's this piece here um definitely cute i do like it it's not really flattering here but that doesn't really bother me because it's like you're gonna see what you see you're gonna get what you get i ain't about to be and nobody waist trainer and spanx and girdle 24 7 all right okay all right so i love 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 this one um i definitely love it more so i'm gonna choose this one over the leopard one i think i like the length of this i've just been into those really long bodycon long sleeve dresses i actually started out really loving those when i first got into fashion um the turtleneck long sleeve ones were my thing but i love the length of this definitely would just wear depending on if i want to make it kind of not casual but like a booty and a jean jacket or something but i would definitely go for a more like Mm, more put together black heel just i don't know i just think this is really cute so it does have this little peep hole up here so i would just get a nice good bra or some good um brassy bra boob tape and definitely get those things sitting up i've been into green and y'all know that and snake uh snake skin print has been the thing for like a year and a half now like i just feel like it's just been the thing okay so um yeah that's the front of it i don't need to say too much oh look at that side and come on over to that side okay 
Um, but then we have the back, which is just like fully covered. Same thing, half and half, I want to say. I hope so. Um, hope I'm not sounding crazy. But um, yeah, I really like this. One thing I will say, as I've been watching this um, footage back, nothing has been see-through. Even the set that was rust, I thought it would be see-through. But it really wasn't. So I'm really happy about that. Like, Because a lot of times we come across boutiques and plus size clothing places like plus size <laughs> clothing places and everything is just super duper sheer and it's a super duper lightweight like um spandex material but this is a nice soft stretchy material uh one thing i wanted to say there's definitely a spider right here what do you I heard somebody i think crystal crystal hall if y'all don't follow her i love her chris styles um she said please leave the scuba material <laughs> for plus size clothing boutiques back in 2019 um i like it sometimes but sometimes it can be hot it can be bulky uh so it just kind of depends i just feel like everything don't need to be scuba though so i definitely agree with you girl i've been in hopes for this thing that's coming together to actually work out and i've been looking for gown like dresses or just a really different type of dress to wear to the thing um if i don't want to speak on it too soon because you guys know like people are superstitious about that and if you speak on it sometimes it doesn't happen or if you tell somebody about something sometimes it's just ruined so <laughs> um if and when more details arise about it then i will actually let you guys know more and more closer to the date but um this is just like a another bar baroon what is baroon maroon or burgundy oh that makes sense maroon burgundy or maroon um type of dress this is like a crushed velvet i do like this i like that it's kind of like have a built-in shape to it um definitely pair of leggings honey smooth it out nice little slip or something um but i do like the line of demarcation here i think it gives just gives you a nice shape and then the bottom kind of can flare out a little bit if you want it to so it's almost mermaid um but it doesn't come like uh i guess the more fitted part doesn't come super low super close to your feet um but i do like this i wasn't able to zip it up by myself in the back completely but i did get it up till i have a little more left like right here so um that's the back i do feel like it's kind of too high in the middle like this part here um the demarcation should be under your butt so yeah that's this dress i do like it it is comfortable it is warm um around the time frame where the thing is supposed to be happening um i could wear this uh yeah definitely so yeah that's this dress here i do like it and i'm wondering if i want to keep it for an option but that's this all right guys so here we have this bodysuit which is like a two-piece ensemble okay um so first the underneath layer or the under layer is just a sheer plain black bodysuit so i wanted to show you guys that first turn around so what it looks like back here just see through okay but then it comes with this layer um that you put on top and if i can get it to all right here we go it's like a bra strap a bra hook rather and you put it like a choker And then it has like these strings. Oh, I'm getting tangled. I mean, I might look crazy because I can't really see what I'm doing. But basically, that's the idea of it. Which, I don't know. I thought it was kind of cute, kind of different. Haven't seen anything or had anything like this. So, it's interesting. Thinking about keeping it not really sure and I'm kind of doing this thing now where whatever I keep I kind of have to get rid of the same amount of items out of my closet like I'm doing this big purge in my closet and it has yet to come to an end yet I'm still going through like what am I not gonna wear what am I not gonna wear stop holding on to this so um once I get done with that it's also gonna be whatever I decide to keep if I'm keeping five items from this haul I'm getting rid of five items in my closet so that's what I'm trying to do but that's this right here um, I just put on a simple pair of black pants because the two bottoms that I did get didn't work out. And so, yeah. All right. So it's so funny that somebody commented about the remote that I usually have to control my phone. 
and now that I go to actually record, I don't have it to record uh, or to capture my pictures for the thumbnail. So I've just been setting it on a timer. Anywho, um, this top here is so cute. I love it more than I thought I would. It's like a cheetah leopard print. Um, it has a slight ruffle on the shoulder and then it's like mesh and it has like a crisscross type of detail down here. It's just really nice and really comfortable. Love a good crop top. I know a lot of people hate crop tops because it seems like everything and plus size boutiques are becoming crop tops and not everybody is one comfortable or two it's just not super professional if they are in their careers and stuff like that. So honestly, if you have a high like a high waist pair of pants or trousers or something, um, you're probably going to tuck your shirt in anyway. So a lot of the times you can just pull down that crop top and tuck it in. Um, it's not always a problem. But yeah, this is kind of sheer and mesh. But again, I have on like a nudie color bra so you probably can't see anything. Um, and that's this piece here. Super cute. I like it more than I thought I would. It just comes to a nice length in the back. And I like that the cheetah print or the leopard print is small and not super like big and you know i like how small it is i think that's what makes it kind of different for me so that's this we have one more top and we are done i just love how china has become so used to me just filming and she's just really quiet when i'm filming she practically just be asleep most of the time um that i'm filming or on the phone or something like she's a super good dog when she wants to be okay um so then we have this last top which is another sheer top clearly i was feeling risky risque with this haul but no um this is just a sheer top uh, it has like a gold piping um, in between the mesh and the actual solid stripes. I think it's really cute. I do like this. I love the um, scrunching effect and for some reason, oh, smock. That's what it is. like the smocking effect here and then you also have it here. Um, this one is a little bit longer. Like I can pull it down, but I think it takes away from it. So I would just like slide it up a little bit and yeah, it has a smocking at the bottom of the top here. So just a simple like black and gold sheer top, which would have actually been perfect for New Year's. I was supposed to go out, but I couldn't because something else came up. So kind of sad about that, um, but not really that sad because <laughs> I'm not a super people person. So being around a whole New Year's crowd would be like so much and um, I'm not really comfortable around a lot of people until I know you or, you know, I just got to feel the vibe, okay? But um, it would have been fun to go out. So that's this item here. It's really cute. Um, yeah. So that was my ASOP haul for this week. It seemed like it went by pretty fast, but I think I got a nice amount of things. And this is basically just a new arrival haul. Um, like I said, there was no really like a theme to it, just on your grown and sexy. We're going to call it your grown and sexy um, type of video. So that's this. And I will see you guys probably again this week because this was from last week. I'll probably see you again this week uh, with another ASOP haul just because this is from last week.